Yo, yo, yo. What's up? Yeah, hi. Hello, everybody. Hello, Retard Nation. Welcome to number first of Demi News and Rumors and Reviews. What we're talking about and fuck that shit. Yeah, hi. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your NXT and AEW Dynamite. Oh, both shows get Dynamite because they deserve it. But they suck. Review. I didn't watch. Ha ha ha. I don't care. Because I don't care. I never know what I get to watch it, but guess what? I didn't watch it, motherfuckers. Ha ha. But I gotta speak the fucking truth. But, you know, like, but, oh, then why are you reviewing it? Then y'all not never happy. If I fucking watch and I complain, like, then why are you watching? I just gotta keep speaking the fucking truth. That's why. That's what I do. And plus, I'm cool. Because I gotta need sunglasses and shit. And I'm, you know, and I'm still wearing this fucking shirt, because, because why not? Because I'm, it's, Good stuff. That's why I do, man. I love this shirt. Well, the thing is, like, it's, I have multiple white shirts. But you know what? I, I like my shirts like I like my chicks. Nice and white. It's good stuff, motherfuckers. Good stuff. Um, so, yeah. Uh, apparently, AEW was taped tonight. And it was, like, on... Because it was, like, on the ocean. And they couldn't do a live show. But yet, here's the thing. Like, if you can't do a live show on the, on the sea... And why even do a show? Why even do this thing called the Cruise of Jericho? Especially when it's like fucking January. It's like a, a fucking beach. Isn't that like a fucking goddamn summer theme? What's with these beach themes lately? What the fuck? So fucking weird. Um, but yeah, apparently there were spoilers, and I didn't know there were spoilers. And then I could have done a review, but I was doing other shit. I didn't get to have the time to make a review at the time. So I might as well just do a game for one review. Um, but yeah. Again, yeah, uh, retard nations, you know, only retards watches. And I'm not one because I didn't watch, ha <laughs> ha. But I gotta sacrifice my sanity sometimes. Uh, because I gotta expose the truth. Um, but yeah, what I was gonna say, but yeah, fucking. Just didn't want to do a show. Especially because you're like, you went live at fucking January 1st and fucking, you don't fucking, I don't know. It's whatever. It's always, especially like. Does that make does that make sense when like you're like competing with NXT? But like not just that though, but yeah, I don't know. They, they get still the same viewership no matter what, because they both suck, so who cares? So fuck the fuck fuck both shows. You know? Oh yeah, speaking of that, uh this competition shit, so this shit makes me disgrace as being a fucking goddamn New Yorker. So I'm a New Yorker. But you know, for God's sakes, as much as I'm a proud New Yorker, for God's sakes. I fucking hate New Yorkers. I hate New Yorkers. I hate everybody. Yes, I hate everybody. Even though I love everybody. I love the white chicks too. Uh, I love every, I love all the chicks in the world. But you know what? Just whatever. But the God's sakes, man, fucking, fucking, it's a darn shame that unfortunately New York has become like a smarky wrestling town because a lot of smarky fucking. Again, this was never the case back then. But you know now it's fucking. You know fucking. You have a smart city like Chicago. I'm gonna break your face. <laughs> Fucking Pennsylvania, you know, all the fucking you know, northeast fucking states will probably be like fucking goddamn stupid fucking smarty towns. And fucking New York is a fortunate smarty town. Especially, it proves this shit, you know, because I get it, because New York is a big town and shit. It's fucking the biggest city, it's the fucking biggest city in the world, obviously. But for God's sakes, it doesn't help the fact that unfortunately, you got these fucking weirdos. Who I think who are being toxic, like being fucking pretending this is a fucking big shit. Where the fuck? Again, like first of all, it's a, it's so it's fucking stupid that for God's sakes that WWE is not even bothering to promote their show more. Like maybe if you actually bother to promote your fucking main shows, then people would actually fucking try to watch and care, right? They'd rather promote NXT like fucking New York and shit. For example, like there's a poster in fucking New York. And like I, it's funny. I actually mentioned this shit. I think met last week when I was doing the live stream reviews and shit. It was like in one of my videos, and I actually mentioned this shit. It's funny. Like I'm not. I know I'm not the biggest channel in the world. I know that. I don't give a fuck. But I, I do my best to speak the most fucking truth. Okay. I do the best I can. Just like the fucking Brad rules. You know what I mean? Fucking he. You know he indeed rules. That's why he, uh, he's like one of Sally, Sally, one of those guys out there who's still doing reviews and shit. But, you know, who's cool and shit. And actually does speak the fucking truth. But then you got other smarky channels. But, 
you got fucking so New York. You got like a po they're having posters of NXT. I actually mentioned just like in one of my one of my videos last week or something. It's funny that this happened. I don't know it was the same exact pose. It wasn't funny, honestly. And I would probably go and see it and fucking piss on it. <laughs> you know, I fucking did the graffiti. And I'm damn proud of all that. But for God's sakes. But anyway, I'm not fucking... F f f oh, hey, W. Because why would I do that shit? But yeah, that's what fucking... Apparently, Sparky people did. Either there was some fucking AEW fan. They fucking did graffiti about fucking... Uh, over the NXT shit. And they fucking put... Oh, AEW on it. And this just shows how fucking toxic and fucking stupid fucking Smarty fans is. Like, this thing this is some stupid fucking... It's just fucking stupid, you know what I mean? Like, how does this make fucking ref wrestling fans look? You know what I mean? It, it just, it's just like, wow. It's just these weirdos that exist now that would do this shit. You know what I mean? Back then, when you had fucking wrestling fans, you know, they fucking want to do stupid shit for, or like... Oh, if someone wears, like, an Austin shirt and fucking wear, or, like, a Hollywood Hogan shirt, wouldn't it be fucking crazy shit, you know what I mean? If anything, yeah, fucking, why not a fight? But that's fucking cool. Fucking just doing, oh, graffiti about, oh, watch AEW, guys. Yeah, where we can see fucking Nyla Rose or something, or Sunny Kiss. I give me a fucking break. Fuck both shows, okay? They should go down and night. So grab your some wine glass, or in this case, a nice stylist glass, and, you know, because why not? It's, it's magnificent itself, and I, you know, you can get your tip, you know, it, let's just look at it. Nice style is glass, you know, it's not magnificent, magnificent as a wine glass, but you know what, hey, these shows are not magnificent, so who fuck cares, but you know what, this is everyday glass, but I love this glass, it's beautiful. Oh man, nice and stylish, you know, this is what you can get, you get like a 10 piece, 9 piece, 8 piece, whatever fuck, I'm not talking about black chicken, you black folks, but you know, hey, this is good stuff, this is what I need, it's good stuff, motherfuckers. Oh shit, oh shit, mm. Good stuff. <sighs> like fine wine. That you know, without the fine wine, I still like fine wine because I'm little. Well, that's what the cokehead lifestyle is about. So let's talk about this shit. A oh, whole I basically we really cool why I've said because actually here's what happened. I actually did try to review already. This is actually my re-record because unfortunately my camera turned off, which sucks. I don't know why. It's just fucking stupid story. What can you say? But who cares? It is what it is. You can do what you have to do. Um, so let me try to find this fucking... So yeah, like, as I said, so like fucking AEW was actually taped. If I could, I could have done something, but unfortunately, like, yeah, I didn't have the time. And you know what? Fuck it. Just do a gay for one review. Like always, and let's just pretend it was live. But guess what? I didn't even watch both shows, so who fucking cares? It's not like I miss anything. Just looking at the results, like, I don't give a fuck. Oh, yeah, so here's the thing, yeah. This fucking bullshit. I did fuck. Wow, it's a good thing I found this. So, yeah, AWB Elite fucking T. Like, fucking. Are you kidding me? I wonder what street this is, because I, for God's sakes, I want to fucking know. It was in the sub. It was in the f subway, obviously. Oh, man. But fuck it, fuck, fuck both shows, like, the fucking fact that, like, fucking, we'll watch this shit, because, especially, you're, fuck, they're fucking going crazy about gay fucking shows, what the fuck, it's not like fucking, oh, watch WCW Nitro, when it's like a raw fucking show, you know what I mean, raw is war, it's like, what the fuck, <laughs> you're gonna fucking go, you're gonna fucking be, ten god damn it, I don't fucking know, I don't care, I'm trying to find my fucking goddamn results, ladies and gentlemen. But like, let's go with the top of my head. Like, what did I remember saying? Um. Um. So like, the, apparently, like the f first match was fucking like what the fucking something with the undisputed care. I'm trying to find it. Hold on a second. Oh man, I'm trying to fucking find the stupid fucking bullshit, man. I'm trying to find the results. Oh man. Oh man, I'm wasting my fucking time. This is not good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. It's like, technical difficulties in the fucking goddamn Zuber Talk. Oh, found it. Zuber Talk TV YouTube channel. Okay, so the first match or something. It starts with NXT. So the show starts with the first match. The uh, Grizzled Young Vets defeats the Undisputed Era. And these are like the team with all the gold. And who the fuck is the Grizzled Young Vets or something? I don't give a fuck. But yeah, fucking, yeah, they defeated Gear and I don't know fuck. Uh, second match, the only thing that's good about fucking Danny C or K shit, fucking Tony Storm with that fat ass, my god. 
She's hot. I'll definitely fuck her to be Black House Breaker. Go, oh shit, oh shit. Uh, for, I don't know, she, her versus Leo Shirai or something, it's like a DQ. I said, Bianca, Bianca don't care, Bianca Belair, she moved. I'm a fucking, the sexy black chick, he's here, I'm here, I am like, I'm he there, the fucking Miz is queer, and I got a, I got a big ass weave and shit, I'm gonna use that as a weapon and shit, cause that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna go shot piece on your ass. Oh yeah, that's right. Mm. A sexy black chick, and I'm gonna fucking, I got a big ass booty, and I'm gonna fucking whip your ass. You know, I'm an unattractive black motherfucking cunt. Yeah, that's my time to shop. It's all Keisha all day, motherfucker. Mm -mm. Black chick. I don't give a fuck. Fuck Bianca Belair. Holy shit. Like, that's, that's another reason why I hate New York. It's a bunch of fucking Bianca Belairs. Holy shit. Unattractive, like, oh. Sure, there's some uh, actually cute black chick, but hey, I'll, I'll stick, you know, why not? Fuck it. White me. I'll stick to my Tony Storm, ladies and gentlemen. Then fucking, oh, wow, we Ripley, guys, so you got the female Pete Dunn coming out, and I'm gonna fuck, and then fucking Tony Storm attacks her. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's what I'm like. Yeah, fuck yeah. But you know what's funny? Unfortunately, he's fucking, you know, wrestling fan, like fucking Sparky fans be like, Oh, you care about female attractiveness? Oh, you don't even care about women's goddamn wrestling. And then like, yeah, these motherfuckers, you know, like, yeah, they, they don't care about like, you know, they, they don't care about being men. They don't care about fucking le like looking at women and shit. Cause like, apparently that's fuck. you know, I don't know. Just like these fans, we tend to care about women's goddamn wrestling. That's how fucking pathetic wrestling is now. You wonder why wrestling is dying. Was all this fucking fucking bullshit feminism crap, y'all? These are the fucking types of fans. But then, these fucking fans would say they would go gay for Bowser, and guess what? You got the gay boy. You know how fucking Shawn Michaels is a sexy boy? This is their fucking sexy boy. This is their gay sexy boy, for God's sakes. It's Finn Balor, because they'll go gay for him. Literally. That's what they literally say. It's not a fucking joke. Finn Balor defeats short, clean, wild. I don't give a fuck. And just look how gay this looks. This is our fucking, this is our fucking ultimate sparks of life. Oh, he should have beat Lesnar. He should have never lost the Universal title. Fuck off. Fuck fucking Finn Balor. Or well, like a turn match or something. I don't know. Sheila B Basler or four. I don't know. I don't fifth. I don't give a fuck. Fourth. I don't care. I lost count. This is a giant turn itself. This show is a giant turn. Both shows anyway. Sheila Basler defeats fucking Shorty Blackheart or something. What the fuck is with the fucking Asian chicks, man? What? What's with these Asians? For God's sakes. And as for next week, oh look, guys, Tiga Knot versus the Cold Kai. I don't give a fuck. Um, the fucking next, uh, then fucking the Broserweights defeats Imperium. Oh wow. Okay. I don't care. And then oh, next week the finals. Of, what are we having the finals? Isn't it like fucking like. Wouldn't he fucking save this for like the fucking you? What is it? Fucking the fucking NXT before Mania or something? Cause they do that and shit. Unless fucking, unless they fucking are saving this shit for um. What was I gonna say? Like unless. Hold on a second. I don't know. Unless they're not doing it, I don't know. But for God's sakes. Hopefully, for God's sakes, there's no fucking stupid takeovers. I don't know, but apparently, fucking, I don't know. I don't even know. Fucking, is there a takeover this Sunday or fucking not this Sunday? The fucking before a pay per view, fucking Royal Rumble. I hope not. But it is what it is. So you, yeah, there you go. You're gonna fucking have your final and shit. I don't give a fuck. Um. And then the main event, fucking Keith Lee defeats Roderick Strong. Okay, I don't mind Keith Lee. There's some promise for this dude. Um, but the problem, my problem is, like, really, this guy had to wear fucking pink shoes last week and shit. Like, come on, that, that ruined for me. But I, I don't mind him. Like, sure, you know, it's better than a gay dude from the ISP era winning or fuck or the Gear Guerra having any titles and shit. They can go fuck themselves, so. Yeah, I guess that's cool. But then you have fucking the end with fucking Imperium attacking the ISP era and they're brawling and shit. Again, what, so you have NXT UK. What's the fucking point with... NXT UK then. If the NXT UK wrestlers are on the show, 
then why not just have regular NXT? Why not just have one NXT? It's bad enough we have a shitty fucking smart light show, but yet it fucking, I guess you want to appeal to the fucking cucks and faggots of the Euro fucking people in the world. I guess that's why you have NXT UK. It's pathetic. Why? What's the point? Like, fuck! Like, there's no point! It's so, 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 first of all, there's so many fucking titles in WWE. And there's so many fucking bull- Stop with this shit! What's the point of fucking NXT UK? Just stop it. This is bullshit. Anyway, so fuck that show. Now let's go with fucking AEW. So, AEW, all the Kuza Jericho guys. Show starts with SCU versus Kenny Omega and Hangman Page for the AEW Tag Titles. And apparently this was a long match. Or So yeah, this, like, this is why I fucking heard. So yeah, like, it was taped. Of, I, there was always results, so I should have probably, like, whatever. I'm just going by. It's whatever. Okay. So Kenny Omega and Hangman Page in the first match defeated SCU to become the new AEW Tag Titles. Tag champs, whatever fuck. So this is like the first title change of AEW. And then Page then search with the fans or something. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Sorry, I don't care. Like, it's like lose-lose situation. Oh man, I'm about to sneeze on. Hey! <coughs> Good stuff. This was a big fucking giant snot fest, I would say. That's what I would say. Yeah, definitely a snot fest. Wow. Fucking nature telling me. When God fucking is alerting me, fuck, like, fuck this show. You might as well just fucking blow it away. That's what I have to say. This show is blowing away. <laughs> apparently, like, speaking of that, for God's sake, like, apparently, like, it was windy in the fucking sea. There was, like, fucking, when they were having, like, pyro and shit, like, it's like fucking, there was blowing away. <laughs> Oh man, oh, fuck the show. The second, okay, what happened? The second match or something. Rick Baker defeats fucking Priscilla Kelly. So they had Priscilla Kelly? That fucking same bitch who used a blade tampon? Okay, yeah, fuck AEW. Holy shit, so you actually have Priscilla Kelly now. What's next? Fucking Joey Ryan? Holy f- oh, oh my lord. Oh my lord. I already made my list of a hundred reasons why AEW sucks, and don't, don't worry, that video is coming. It might come tomorrow. But for God's sakes, Priscilla Kelly is gonna make it as number fucking one hundred and one, or fucking. There's actually more than a hundred reasons why AEW sucks. For God's sakes, so prepare for that. So this is like a list of uh, this is like now a hundred twenty something, or fucking I my fuck, fuck AEW. Holy shit. Just fucking great. Just fucking great. Way of fucking just make wrestling worse and worse. Because this is the type of shit that makes wrestling the garbage. Then their inner circle defeats the Jurassic Express. First of all, I hate this fucking referee cunt. She is so unattractive. You, you can't get more fucking unattractive with this fucking cunt. Like, holy shit, this referee. Like, first of all, what's with female referees? Unless, like, if they're, like, in hot clothing... And if they're hot themselves, for God's sakes. And why not do that, like, in a women's match? You know what I mean? Or, uh, like, fuck this. Fuck this. Holy shit. So, and apparently the fucking smarky fans are singing fucking the Jericho's theme. And it's like, shut up! You're ruining the guy's theme for God's sake. I hate these fucking fans. Stop singing the wrestler's theme songs. <laughs> People are complaining about not watching these theme songs. Good! Because for God's sakes... You guys just ruin mu music, for God's sakes. Like, these are the fucking fans. Like, this is why you can't have good things. Imagine if fucking fans were fucking singing Stone Cold Steam Like, fucking imagine. Oh, they're gonna fucking. <laughs> the rock comes out, or fucking goddamn Undertaker. <laughs> like fucking just stupid, right? Fucking oh yeah, and they're gonna fucking sing fucking your time is on my. Oh yeah, they're fucking already singing. John Cena sucks and shit. That's like the only time they fucking create creative, for God's sakes. <laughs> 
But you want everybody loves Cena now. Cause he lives children. Like what's next? You're gonna fucking start singing Batista's theme? Like fuck it, uh, fuck it. I walk alone and shit. Like fuck it. They're gonna probably sing fucking Orton's theme. I hear voices in my head. They tell me things they understand. They make me rape. Uh, they make me come too. I don't fucking know. You're gonna just start like stop singing theme songs. You know how fucking like fucking stupid it is. Like they ruined the theme song. These stupid fucking fans. I hate these fans. I hate these fans. I really do. Holy shit! You are ruining the fucking guy's theme song. Then like the fourth match, MJF defeats Joey Janela, and fuck after Kip Sabian and Penelope Ford distract Joey Janela or something. I don't fucking care. Then fucking MJF Max Cody is as he can't touch him before Revolution or else their match is canceled. And then the Young Bucks just super kicks MJF for Cody and throws him in the pool. Okay. I guess they're doing something, you know, with their fucking, you know, the set. I guess that's like fun stuff, so it's whatever. Oh wow, look at these matches, guys! Cody Rhodes versus Kate Sibion! The Young Bucks versus the Butcher and the Blade. And the Inner Circle versus Dorby Allen. Dorby, 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 Private Party. My lord, this is this is high T action, guys. This is fucking hardcore action there. This is fucking wrestling. Oh, fuck off. I don't want to watch now. God damn, even though I didn't even watch tonight, I don't care. It, like, but even if it's just a fucking live show. My lord. In the main event, John Moxley, even though he had like a patched eye or something, he defeated Pac. He's bigger than Tupac, guys. He's a bigger than Tupac from Niggatown. And fucking god, then he's bigger than the X Pac. He's, he's like the combination from them into one. He's the Pac of ever. Oh, shut up. Hey, he's like a new sensation. Fuck off. I hope fucking gravity kills him. That's what I hope, right? That man that gravity here guy well gravity should kill him for God's sake. Whatever he fucking flies. And then fucking the cruise of Jericho ends with fucking Jericho staring down Moxley. Even though he was like no more contender, but I don't know. It's something like I guess it's a great match. Great match for these fans. Or something. This one this show wouldn't make you fucking bitches to be black guys break them go, oh shit, oh shit, I'm just telling you. We won't get you motherfucking late. Okay. Especially like shit like fucking doing graffiti on NXT or, or fucking whatever. You're gonna do either even if there's a fucking AEW poster or something. Where are fucking you doing graffiti? Oh yeah, I'm hardcore man. I'm a i I'm cutting edge, I'm edgy, man. You're not gonna fucking get late. Fucking be just like dang, you nasty motherfucker. Most likely is a fucking neck beard. We'll probably sneak out his mommy's fucking home. Fucking this whole fat stuff, he fucking is shitting fucking farts and shit. He go walking like small like fucking like disgusting fucking tar turds because he doesn't take a shower for a living. He hasn't took a shower like motherfucking years and fucking smell like poop and farts and shit. Walking in the fucking subway and doing graffiti over fucking NXT. That's most likely what the fucking fan is. Holy shit. Like it's a fucking fat neckbeard tard. Who's like, oh, why did I gotta go out? But then he fucking saw fucking the post and he's like, you know what? It's clobbering time, man. That's that's his drive. He got kind of the fat wrestling. Fuck these shows. Um, that's all I done gotta say. Yeah, indeed. Prepare for a hundred reasons why AEW sucks, or he did a hundred reasons why NXT sucks. So, yeah. Um, I'm just keep the real neat. I got me muscles, got me abs, got beat by cat to fuck your bitch motherfucking catch your dream of soul and mind lights on magnificent. I get brick breaker turn heal, I don't give a fuck. Oh, and yeah, just fuck this show. Until next time. Peace. Yeah, bye.